Hi everyone, welcome to the big lady of the small house channel and today we have another rescue operation I have received a batch of bulbs which have been packed slightly damp and as you can imagine they, they all came with all sorts of rods inside and today I'm gonna try to rescue some of them this is one of them, as you can see the red blotch is here so I have to remove the all the dry wet that's the, rot the rotten scale I think it's got pulplets here and roots so even nothing happens, I'll still can get the babies and let me get it this way, this sharp knife just sharpened it don't want to clean it too deep, but I guess I have to I th this is my favorite way to clean the bulb without losing all the... well I guess I still have to because as you can see this is what happens actually, you see, you see the water I don't know if the camera can see it, but it's all wet this is what happens when you soak the bulb and you don't have the uh, industrial dryers to dry everything this is what you will get the complete rot inside, as you can see that's all water I call this, the bulbs like this the big flop it was there. Look, look at that. Horrible. Oh my god. That's. Poor baby. And you can see it's got the mold already. Oh. Look at that. Look at that state. I guess I have to dry it for overnight I have to remove this scale even though it looks okay but it's got it's been in contact with the rod so it has to be removed as you can see it's already hoof big hoof already but I'll keep it just for the sake of the babies that are appearing here and another cut so I have to see the throat I have to see what's happening inside and what I usually do if I don't want to cut the rest of the scales I just do the two cuts along this, the bulb and I remove the damaged part so we have the scale that is still on the bulb and as the bulb needs it, it feeds, feeds the bulb until the moment the bulb recovers and then later in a couple of months I can remove it completely look at that look at that state oh my god poor baby sorry I think I have to cut it as well this way I've got a couple of bulbs as you can see I already removed four rotten scales I guess I have to remove this part too I don't know if this bulb will make it easy to recover look at that that's again I'm telling you this is the reason why you shouldn't soak the bulb in anything just because I got this bulb from the uh, greenhouse that just was getting rid of extra bulb, extra old bulbs that they don't need and they washed it but they haven't dried so it's kind of washed oh I don't need it it's rotten so here it is anyone who wants it buy it 
so I bought it and as you can see I have to remove all this stuff because remember that every red blotch is the source of potential infection every little sp red spot is the potential red, red blotch stagonospora source and like this and again here that's why you need always have to have a fungicide in your emergency kit happy astrum emergency kit I'll cut this leaf So that's just one of them. The other two I will make for Russian. Sorry. But this is the worst. This is the worst pulp. And the other two are more or less okay. This one just a cut. But I guess it would be exactly the same inside. So fungicide. I use Maxim from Syngenta. This is actually working exactly for the the Stagonospora uh, like this I don't want to touch the the bottle I usually have the small bottle with the uh, droplet but I don't want to touch this with the droplet sometimes you might have occasionally touch the bulb so this is just a, I pour it on top so I don't get the the substance infected as you never know what happened to the bulb and these bulbs will go to the quarantine for at least a year they'll be standing separately in the house so they don't get in contact with my other hippiastrums even thought I'm working at the greenhouse now I still so all the area that had the red spots I cover it with a thick layer of Maxim and I'll keep it on the plastic bag for a day it's the temperature in the greenhouse right now is 27 degrees so it's pretty hot and the fungicide and heat will work together so the fungicide will kill the the fungus the heat will help the, the bulb to dry up a bit and tomorrow i will plant it i usually make the mixture of soils like the commercial one that you usually buy universal mix i get the mixture with uh, like 10 liters of commercial mixture and then i get like two two or three liters of the uh, forest the black earth with the, the, the hummus of the forest, the natural one and all the from the compost pit and I usually add the vermicompost with the peat For, there's another there's a company that produces the the special for the greenhouses the compost and vermicompost and the peat mixture so I got like 10 liters of universal mix and 3 liters or 2-3 liters of each but in this case since it has been damaged badly I will keep just the universal mix I don't want to put it in perlite because from my experience the bulbs like these don't really get well with the perlite and they will dry completely because the perlite itself sucks the moisture out so I've got the, this bulb covered and I'll keep it on the side I'll keep it like this in a bag for a day and I'll plant it tomorrow so stay tuned for the results what happens to them and hopefully they will get back to normal soon 
Thanks for watching. Bye.